Hello! Today I'm going to show all the owners of the Janome Memory Craft 9850 or 9900 how to use the machine to sew on a button. Hello, so I'm at the machine now and the first thing we're going to talk about is a little bit of safety. Um, I would suggest pressing the lock button um, and removing the needle. I've tried to do it without removing the needle and I never could quite get it lined up right. So we're going to use um, the foot, the button foot. It's the letter T. Looks like a T, kind of. Um, and we're going to put it on the, I guess this is the shank. So number one, you push it in from the top. There's a little notch back here. This part goes on the notch back here. And then lower your presser foot and you'll hear it snap. Now that that's done, uh, we can unlock. We're going to use the uh, clothing stitching um, options and choose button. So it tells me that my tension needs to be on five, which it is. Uh, it tells me that my feed dogs need to be down. So those are dropped. That's really important, by the way. And then the foot needs to be on T. So in case you can't remember, your machine will tell you. Um, you can increase or decrease the width of the uh, buttonholes, the holes on the button, that is by um, going back and forth between these two. So let's get started. Um, I have this little piece of fabric that I use for testing out stitches and practicing uh, free motion quilting. I have a lot of more practicing that I need to do on that. Um, but if you want, you can send me a message and I'll show you how to do it. I'll not show you how to do it well. I'll show you how to use your machine to do it. The well part is up to you. So, uh, to get started, uh, lower, well, don't lower yet. Um, you want to start with the button hole that's on the left, the hole in the button that's on the left. Put your needle down, and then using your hand wheel, again, go over to I've got a little friend here. I'm going to pull him up into the other hole. Um, the way that my options are set, it happens to kind of work out okay. But just to be care just to be safe, I'm going to check it by just moving the hand um, uh, wheel manually. I'm going to make sure that my motion is set to slow, and I learned this the hard way because. I didn't have it all uh, working properly. Um, in th I guess the width wasn't exact. And my I almost broke my needle. It was, it was very harrowing. Okay, and here we go. Machine's gonna automatically do that width and then it will stop automatically when it's finished. And you can snip your threads here or you can move on to the next set if, if you're working with a button that has four holes on it. And I get these out of the way. Uh, again, go in with on the left button hole that's on the button. And then we're going to manually go and check that. It's a little tight, so I'm going to actually just move this over ever so slightly okay and I think we're okay to go now all right and now you can just uh, pull this out um, if you want you can decide if you want to um, make sure that your threads are really good and secure. Uh, you can pull the threads, 
through the back or through the top even and tie them together. Um, I am actually using different color. So I've got black on the bottom and gray on the top. And this is to show you the difference between the bobbin and the top thread. Um, you can go ahead and choose your threads and tie them in, tie them together. Like this, if you wanna make sure it's extra secure. I've never had any problem with my buttons coming loose um, doing this because there's a lot of um, tying off that happens on the machine. So uh, I could try to pull this other thread here. I'm sorry, this one, this one right here. I could try to pull that one to the back and then tie it off back here. I really don't think that's necessary. So there you go. This comes in handy if you are doing a lot of uh, buttons on the shirt or a lot of buttons for other um, projects. Um, let me show you here. I'm doing a little bit of t-shirt, um, sweatshirt refashioning. Uh, so I'm going to be sewing on a lot more buttons on uh, some of this applique. This is actually um, one of the um, standard geometric uh, embroidery designs that I did sort of applique style. And what I did here is I had my stabilizer and my sweatshirt in the hoop, and then I floated this uh, gray fabric on top and then I went ahead and went through the whole um, uh, process of embroidering this. Um, I chose this because the design is, in, is, in, is encased, it's enclosed here. I'm sorry, I keep going off camera. Um, and that way I could trim around with the scissors and make it look kind of like an applique. Um, I used the buttonhole uh, sewing on button feature for this one and I, I kind of learned a little bit uh, while doing this one. Almost broke the button, almost broke my needle, but that's how you do it. It's um, kind of a time saver if you have a lot to do. So I hope uh, that helps you. Uh, leave me a message or in the comments if you want to know um, how to use any other features um, with a, a little video and I'll put one together. See you later, bye-bye.